So this is a continuation from the video right before this or for the video after this. I pulled the motor, we got the motor off the blue one. Uh, needs gasket and the arm re welded on. But this one needs a few things too. So this one needs a starter. Uh, most likely a carburetor. Um, it runs okay, but so starter, carburetor, chain is loose. So I don't know what's going on with that. Um, chain's loose, and then one of the headlights are out. And I think that's pretty much it as far as I can think of right now. So I'm going to jump into it right now, uh, pull it apart, and I'm going to try to show you how to replace the starter on one of these. Um, you should already know how to do a carburetor, but if not, I'll, I'll show it to you um, if I can. So I'm going to jump into pulling the gear, level, gear arm off, and then we'll pull this front cover off and pull the starter off. I'm going to pull the starter off the other engine since I got to order parts anyway so I'll order a starter for it and hopefully it's the same one. I uh, might even use the carburetor off the blue one. I have two other ones uh, waiting to go on something else anyway so uh, we'll see when we get there with that. So I'm going to try to bring you along and pop this cover off. It might not be a really good shot, but uh, we'll try it. Carburetor is out. So it's kind of dirty, but it's a newer carburetor. Um, that's what the guy said, at least. So I may mean, still see the wrapper on it. It doesn't look too crazy. It looks pretty clean in there. So they definitely got some use out of this one. If you're ordering a carburetor for your uh, Teo Teo or 125 or 110, I recommend getting, make sure you search for. The one with the second screw okay this helps with the fuel mixture and it I mean it's so much better than any of the other ones in my opinion so you have your idle and then this is the fuel mixture and this makes it run so much better so we're gonna pull this apart in a second I'm gonna see if this uh, so, uh this lube uh, lubrication has gone through there and see if I can pull off the lever on for the gear shift. let's see that yeah I broke off so I tried to use the hammering mechanism of the ratchet just to pull it off maybe it was lucky and it broke a little farther than I expected it to I'm not going to 
All right, so I paused you for a second, uh, and I forgot to turn you back on. Just showing me, showing you, me putting the new starter on. But uh, you gotta put the chain on first. Uh, that's the best way to do it, and then screw it in. Uh, it only had two bolts when I pulled it out. Uh, the old one. I was gonna put the third one back in, but I guess the threads are done up because this is what. Oh, my rip glove. I put that one bolt in and that's what happened to this bolt. So that's a brand new bolt and it's done so. So two bolts should work since I had it before. So we are going to slap this cover back on. Looks like we dropped. Looks like we dropped one of these. Here it is. And you put it back on, don't forget the negative goes on the top bolt right there. That's it. So that should be a new starter. Uh, we could try, but we wouldn't have a carburetor on it right now. So put on brake. That's it. see they try to start the other one just click so we're good there let's jump into cleaning up the carburetor all right as I dump all the gas out we're gonna pull apart this carburetor pull the filter off there we go a little bit of dirt in there probably what our problem is just need to clean it out Let me put you up a little higher too. That's gonna be a little bit better for you. So, pull the screw off. Oh. Looks like we got a, a difficult one to. Oh, there we go. You can just tell from what's falling out of it. The bowl is probably going to be pretty gross. I really need to switch gloves uh, so I don't get all, all this gas on me. So, here we go. There's a little bit of dirt in there, not too bad. Seal doesn't look disgusting either, too bad. Yeah, there's a little bit of dirt in there, you'll see. 
So, I'm not sure if you guys have ever pulled apart these uh, carburetors for, but there's a pin right here. Pop that pin out. And then this will pull out the, the needle and the floats. So, biggest thing to know right here is that if your carburetor, you, you turn the gas on and just continues to leak, most of your problems are with this needle right here. Where it flows and comes out of right here can get the smallest piece of dirt in them. Why you should always run a fuel filter. Because this will get a piece of dirt in it, stick this needle open, and that's usually what floods your carburetors. So, heads up, this needle right here. So, you have your, your idle jet and then your main jet. This is what we call them. Uh, let's see here. Flathead. Pull apart this main jet. Looks pretty good. If you have compressed air, this is usually the best time to, to use it. But these don't look too bad. I have no idea if you're going to be able to see through that. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Okay, well this is a small hole through there, you can see through it. That's how you know if it's clean or not. So, tighten that one back. I'm gonna pull the... If... You think you have your adjustment made correctly and the carburetor is still not idle, check this needle right here. This usually gets clogged really fast. So, and there's a little bit of dust down here at the bottom of the bowl, a little dirt. So, uh, give me just a second. I'm gonna go turn my air compressor on and uh, catch you back up in a second. Okay, so I got the air compressor out. Um, this this needle is a lot smaller, so I'm definitely not gonna be able to show you that on camera. So, go ahead and screw it back on. I'm gonna blow out the carburetor just a little bit, cleaned it up a little bit. Now I'm gonna grab this needle, inspect it, make sure there's no dirt on it. Make sure the channel's clear. Looks good. Make sure there's no dirt on the float. Okay. And then this goes on this little tab right here. Hold it on. Put it through there. Put the pin back in, and then we're going to wipe the edge of this off. So I'll put that kind of any big pieces so it won't leak. So I'm gonna blow that up too. Alright. So I'm gonna put it back on. It only goes one way. Make sure it says flush. Put the screws in. I like to bounce back and forth, make sure I get a good seal on it, but might not be the way to do it. Just how I'm doing it. This one has to get taken apart again. It might as well get replaced. I'm gonna try to wire brush it just a little bit. I mean, I don't even know why I wear gloves sometimes.
Most of the time I'll grab a, um, a Dremel, uh, like I said, or a Dremel bit and put it on my drill. And I will run it through here. Just make sure there's no dirt or contamination in there. Um, being pretty isn't really my main focus right now. So you can take your time. A little piece of glove in there. You can take your, your time cleaning this up. Make it look a lot prettier. Make it look brand new. It basically is after you deep clean it like that. So if you have brick in there, go ahead and If you're a mechanic, you work with this stuff, you know how expensive this is. I'm just gonna grab the compressor and blow off all this dirt. That's as clean as I'm gonna get it. So, looks good enough for me. Uh, now it's time to put it back on. So, here we go. Alright, so just a repeat of taking it off, we're gonna put it back on. Uh, gloves are getting worse. This is super important to have on loose folders, okay? The little plastic seal has got a rubber uh, o ring on it. It goes against the other O-ring. So not O-ring to O-ring, but O-ring to plastic. And these have an orientation. If you take it and flip it the other way, it does not line up. So if you have problems, def definitely take a look at that. But it definitely goes like that. So I'm gonna put the solder cable, the needle back in, make sure that's clean. And the notch, the lower notch right here, goes toward the screws. There we go with that. Now we need to do a battery tie down. Uh, we need to fix some wiring in the back and we need to tighten the chain up. Thank you. 
Three pictures on here. How long is it? All right. So let's start it up. See if they both work. That's me for this video guys, thanks for watching, we uh, did some maintenance on this, I uh, hope I did everything I said I was going to do in this video, thanks for watching, we'll see you later, peace.